Do you believe there's Nigga. any profession in the planet that are f extremely promiscuous people that you stay away? You believe any profession? Flight attendant. You oh, see what wait, I'm talking wait, about? So, okay, why, hold on, hold on, why are you generalizing? <laughs> Because you said personal I'm traders. I'm talking about no, personal no, no, traders. No, no, I ain't no, talking no. about flight attendants. Why are you generalizing? There's a ton of because I know because I work in the airline industry and I know you them. See, see, I know see, them. See, see, you you, you oh. legally checkmated yourself. You I see know how them. Dumb you are? I don't. I don't. Like, I'm, not, I'm do you, pulling do you, from personal experience, not from what I heard on the internet, sir. The life is bigger than your belly button. I'm obese. I never starved in my life. And I know there's billions of people starving today right now. The world is not your belly button. The fact that you wanted to literally deny what I said about personal trainers, and now you are generalizing about flight attendants, prove how dumb you are. Like, you're just stupid. Go ahead. You guys got it. God damn it. <laughs> this man just wants to talk just for debating for no reason. <laughs> Y'all so volatile. I won't judge a, I won't judge a club promoter because I will judge him for what he does and I'm not going to discriminate because of his job. Man, go the fuck yourself. God damn it, Queen. But no, I'm serious. Like, do y'all think that um nurses in general and what else aside from a nurse is bad like that? Like I've never heard this this um I Nonsense hear it all the time. I've, I've, I, I, and, and when I go outside, I don't hear. I hear it on the internet all the time. I don't hear it outside in real life. I, don't, I hear why it. Why would that be? Like bro. what? I, I, I get flight, flight attendants. attendants. They're always in like exotic locations, and they're always out away from people. I get that. I don't. I don't get nurses, and I don't get this personal trainer thing. I don't. I don't get that. Mm. Woody, Woody, Tom Brady got cheated. But what was Tom Brady? What happened? To Tom Brady? I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know that he got cheated. Like, I don't, I don't know that that really happened. <laughs> no, he just pop up with with the new guy two weeks in a <laughs> random destination. That doesn't mean, that 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 like mean you have cheated this. on. Like she, he was choosing. He was the next closest guy that she had. He had some kind of connection to, and she was like, "Hey, I'm divorced now. Let's but, roll." I don't. So, I, don't I can't say that, that, he, that he cheated. So, but this is the point about people cheating. They cheat with who is close to them every day, all day. The milkman, the mailman, the wife, the out, the the work wife, the work husband, the personal trainer, the 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 club promoter. Like all these people, they are going to actually have the most chance to cheat. That's what happens. Oh, let me just stretch your back real quick. <laughs> would you would you allow Quinton to let your wife have a, a male personal trainer, one on one sessions when you are at work? Who, me? Yes. Yeah, sure. Why not? Nah, I'm not having that. Hmm. Not at all. Hey, so yeah. I used to work at a gym and I saw it all the time. I didn't never see nothing weird. So I'm not having that. Like, nah. Not like, there's no reason for her to have a male person or trainer. <laughs> in my opinion, there's no reason at all for that. <laughs> man, that shit just seems so fucking weird, man. Yeah, I'm uh, not doing that. I'll be suspect about that. I ain't gonna lie, my homeboy was a personal trainer. And then I, yeah, <laughs> I, know, kind of I know my homeboy was a personal trainer too. Know the kind of trash. He was on trash. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. That's just that's a bad. nigga. It don't have nothing to do with the profession. It's to have to do with just, just a nigga. No, the niggas is gonna fuck. It, it, <laughs> like, we're talking about bro. female nurses or talking about male nurses. Clint. Clint, cool. you are disillusioned. Right niggas now, is just bro. gonna fuck regardless, no matter what their profession is. Let's let's be clear about that. It's it's proximity. Go oh, talk with the person man. that work in. A, go talk with the person that works in a hospital, especially if they do night shift, and ask them about. Hey man, you you guys ask him. <laughs> you when you answer. you are disillusioned right now, big dog. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. You don't think that don't, the profession matters. Mean. Yes, I think some of them. Yes, that's why I said flight attendants. But personal training, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't so you would that. never talk to a flight attendant? Like, would you ever actually talk to a flight attendant? I have before. Oh yeah, they say truckers is bad too. Truckers. Trucker. I did not know that nurses was as bad as they are, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out why everybody feel like nurses is as bad as they are. Because it's not like it's they travel. I mean, you can, you can get a traveling nurse, right? But. Um, it's not like they travel as much, right? 16 yeah, hour shifts. Sh 16 hour shifts, away from woman, stressful job, 
all of that there's like literally propitious for you to be fucking people around you especially if you work at night especially hmm. any country all country that's perceived that's what it is you spend more time with the people in your job than you spend with your spouse so i didn't know that yeah, that's true Hmm. That's the perfect oh, in your family. I'm stretching out my um my timeout button. Hold on. Yo, what? Oh, <laughs> my timeout. Stretching out my timeout. My so, timeout so, button. So fatty. Would you ever talk to a nurse? <laughs> I'll talk with her. I'll because never take her seriously. I seriously. always looked at nurses as just like a really good, solid profession where they could have a solid career. They never ever gonna get laid off. They'll always be able to make money. I've always looked at nurses from that lens. I've never looked at nurses from like, you know, what she cheat type stuff. It is it's just a, a, a risky proposition. If if you are around her, I kind of understand. But like, there's some professional. What do you mean if you're around her? Is our is organic, right? She's a flight attendant. You are somebody in the industry. You're with her most of the time, or sometimes, and you guys fall in love organically, right? But I won't go out of my way to date a flight attendant, a nurse. Like these professions, they are just too much. The same way I wouldn't tell a woman to date a club promoter or personal trainer. I know exactly where they should be. Okay, so, so let me let me revise it. Let's say that you talking to a girl and she wants to get into nursing because from a new career field perspective, would you let her do mm -hmm. it like that? No. You wouldn't let her do it. <laughs> No, Why? no, go but you, you know shit. her, you with her. <laughs> no, it, 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 it like the profession has a reputation for a reason. Go be a teacher. Go, I don't know go, what go the reputation kids. is, though. I'm honestly, I am so unfamiliar with what the heck the reputation is. Every country has, has the, the nurse shit, the nurse reputation. Every single country has a nurse. I don't, maybe I'm wrong. I just um, I'm not familiar with it. I don't know what the sentiment is. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not either. I've never. I've never heard this. I just when, keep when, hearing when I about it. Your, Listen, I heard when I saw woman, it in your title, I was confused. I was listening to a woman that was basically saying that nurses is worse than strippers, bro. What? Yes, no, that, 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 that's a reach. That's a... No, they say that nurses and certain professors. I mean, certain professions that how promiscuous they are. So, okay, so this is what the woman was saying. I'm going to try to find it real quick. She was basically saying that um, how promiscuous and how much nurses get down, whereas is it rivals that of a stripper. I yeah, I, that, I don't understand how they got that reputation, though. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that, so that a bit too much. I don't, I just generally speak, but I don't generalize a whole. I've seen multiple different profession. live streams of, of, of women saying, not live streams of videos, of women saying nurses is worse than strippers, bro. Like I told you, I have, um, I, um, I, I don't understand how a job that you rub your ass every day, all day with men, there's about money, you know. I can understand, like, like there's no environment worse than a stripper, in my opinion. I'm, I just, just put speak. it in the YouTube and I was able to pull it up right now. Just pull up. I mean, it, this wasn't even the one that I was looking at, but I was able to pull up a video of a chick that's basically saying that a nurse is worse than a stripper. I'm going to pull it up right, real, real quick. I'll say military woman might be very close. Nur I can I can put that on nurse. Oh. A stripper? Mm. Let me but see. If, but if Let me see if I can get it up here. Give me a second. Uh, I don't even know if I'm here. We go. Back to you. Uh, almost 25 years ago, I have been. It was different back in the day. Strip has evolved into something that's not as taboo, especially based on what region you're in. When I started dancing in January of 2000, um the year 2000, um, it wasn't, I was in Philly and I got, I, I got my, I, I got 
shunned, basically. You know, people turned their nose up at me. People looked at me different in a negative light. Yeah, we well, did. New York, too. Did yeah, too. New we York. Out, this is a stripper bitch. Stripper bitch. Yeah, y'all yeah, think? Yeah, yeah. So strippers had this... <laughs> yeah, strippers had this nasty stigma on them of being drug addicted and having pimps and being mm -hmm. prostitutes and loose and uneducated and not taking care of their children and not taking care of themselves. And that's actually not the case. You know what I Oh, will... and being hoes. I will say this, though. Stripper pussy for some strange reason, was always tighter than, like, normal girl pussy or something. They're doing Kegels. Kegels. Stripper an example, because yeah. I would say this all the time. My friends that are the civilian hoes the civilian. are bigger hoes than my stripper hoe friends, and that has always been a thing. Hey, word, that's my true. Yes. Friend, that true. My regular friends, my friends that work in the bank, G -G. my friends that work in the hospital, my friends that work retail, nurses is my hoes. friends know that. that's CNAs and certified nurses and travel nurses and, and <laughs> working in insurance, and the insurance, pay, the, my, my home girl that's running your fucking credit. And, and making sure that you <laughs> and that's making she's sure old. Old. and making sure that your insurance is right. She the biggest hoe I know. Okay, <laughs> shout out to you, bitch. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> we, we share each other's secrets. So I'm just saying, <laughs> like stripper. And here's the thing with strippers. And and I'm I'm speaking personally, but I also want to say that I think that I have the authority to speak on my fellow stripper hoe friends. Right. We getting too much money to just be fucking on anybody that's offering a few dollars for one. For two, we. I'm going I'm to I'm put this on myself. In my day, when I was single and in a club and I was, this person was in my ear, that person was in my ear, I might have let this nigga fly me out, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. I was the most pickiest bitch, I think, out of all. Because so, and, and I've been seeing a lot of women, like a whole lot of women, that's saying that they nurses and the women that they be around inside of these hospitals... Be going ham. That's insane, man. I see. I just, I just want to a lot, bro. Are we gonna let this woman tell us that strippers ain't having sex? And because previous to this conversation, I think everybody would say, "Yeah, strippers is fucking." But now we listen to her, and I guess they're not. It, it it's funny that all their friends are hoes, but she was the picky one, of course. No, she didn't say that she wasn't a hoe, but she was just saying that she was more picky. <laughs> she said she was speaking when she said that she was speaking with she she was speaking. You, you can be a you girl. can be a picky hoe, nigga. What you mean? Because uh, <laughs> if you got every single dude that's that's trying to holler at you inside of the club, you're gonna be. I think you're probably gonna be a little bit more picky when you got options, right? Probably. I I don't know. I just at this at this point. You, if you if you meet her at twenty eight and marry her at twenty nine, you're probably going to be marrying a hoe. So, just go ahead and pick your part, or a farmer hoe. So, just pick your poison. No, that's not true all the time, but it is a strong I mean, possibility. The only know, way that's not true if she's having a long right distance, now, a long term relationship, if I like know a women big in one. real life it's right now, that is not they have not been with more than two people. That's what they tell you. No, that's the see, honest to God facts. And I wish I... You can't argue. See, listen, these, listen. Here's the thing. This, here's the thing, bro. I wish I could bring them up on a platform, but they not trying to they not trying to be that visible like that because they have really mm -hmm. big jobs. They have a very, very big presence. They are very significant in certain communities and stuff, and they just don't... They they move different. They're not even on social media like that. Like, they don't, they don't have people in their DMs because they don't even have a social media profile or nothing like that, right? Or if they have a social media profile, it's 100% business or they spend more time on LinkedIn than they do on Instagram. And I think that that's a misconception that y'all think that every single chick is out here on Instagram and they're getting DMs and stuff and that's not true. It's not true, bro. They, they stand out the fucking way. Can we agree that most of them no, I said that it's a strong possibility, but I'm saying that there are women that's not on that type of time. Yes, of course, but there's a minority. And and they are so close with the other ones that you kind of like, eh. No, they're not. They don't hang out with them. They defend each other. They don't even know them. They don't because they're not even on social media. That's what I keep trying to tell you. You, you know an attractive woman like that is a seven and above a hundred percent. Listen, honest like, to God, and, and have no honest to God, on my life. As a matter of fact, um, 
it's some people that is on social media that has met some of them. Like Randy and them, they came over yesterday because uh, I got a rooftop, and so we did the fire. They, it was a fireworks. The city, Canada, Windsor, and Detroit combined to do a fireworks, and so they was over here. They met some of them. It's plenty of my people meet meet people in real life, but they not on social media at all. Not even a little bit. That's true. They are not That's on social media. So if you meet, so if you meet them in real life. If you meet them in real life, you're like, damn, like unicorns do exist, but it's not, they're not unicorns. They just ain't visible to y'all. They're not visible to the people that's on the internet. They's not, they're not I, on I panels. Think, I think generally speaking, women aren't whores. I think more women are in the house not doing shit than anything. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not of the mindset that women are just out here fucking everybody. I don't, I don't, I don't think that. I just think it Some depends women, on the industry. Some women you know. are. Yeah, it's just depends on the character. Like, what 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 do they value? But I'm really, saying the most of, the of them are. Most people are in the house not doing shit. <laughs> like Rita don't. No. Rita don't most be hanging out outside. with a lot of people. But the people I said most. Out with, most of the people that Rita hangs out with is not even visible. They're not. They're the only reason Rita they, is visible is single? because of me. But are they single? I don't these wanna, people that they, that, that are, these are, women that are attractive them. and have no social media are these some single? of them. Some of them are. Some of them are. One of so them. You know the, one of them. One of them is, for example, one of them is widow. Dad, that's gonna keep you out. That's gonna keep you from dealing with a one lot of, them of is, people. One of them is period. Widow. Yeah, one of them yeah, is widow, and she was married the entire time, and she widow, and she don't even have. She don't have no kids. I think make a, this make a lot of money, this. may have no kids, is one of the sweetest women that I've ever seen in my life. She widowed um because her husband wound up passing away of cancer. Um dope. And she's scared as hell to every to even date, bro. She won't get on no apps. She won't she don't believe in dating apps, none of that stuff, bro. It's scary y'all here. She's scared as hell to ever even make herself available. Yeah, it's scary y'all here. I can like, call her yeah, right like, now. I can call her right now. Been married. How long was she married? Let me see. Let me say. I know plenty of them. Gorgeous. I don't know if she even up. She might be asleep. Hello? Hey, baby. What's going on? Chilling. What you doing? Nothing much. Laying in bed. You always in the house. Well, I ain't always in the house. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Dang. laughs> Hey, listen. It's yeah, I know it's 10 o'clock. Listen, I'm, um, I'm on a live stream. I got a question for you. Okay. How long was you married? 10 years. Hmm. It's crazy. Why? Because I know that you ain't uh you scared to date. I'm not scared to date. What? Are you on a live stream? You yes, scared? I'm on a live stream. I ain't say your name or nothing. <laughs> when I came to visit you, you was yes. acting scary. Right. Not scary, but this is different, okay? <laughs> Well, that's because you're a good girl, so it's different for you. Oh, that, is that what it is? Yep. You're not familiar with these streets, so. Right, right, right. Okay. All right, I'll call you back. Okay, bye. Go to sleep. Okay, <laughs> bye. Telling you, man, it's a lot of people that's just not. They not yeah, in these she streets, says bro. She was in the bed. She ain't say At she was in the house. She said she was she in the is, bed. She was in the bed. <laughs> she don't be on the internet. She ain't on social media. She ain't on Instagram. She ain't none of that. In the bed at 10 o'clock. 